So when ethane, which is C2H6, burns in excess oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide and water. Write a balanced equation for this reaction. Okay, so here's the equation. If I just wrote it as CO2 and H2O, okay. If I just wrote it like this, I can show you how to quickly balance it. Balance carbon first. There are two on this side. There's one on this side. So I multiply by two. Now I've got two on this side, two on this side. Hydrogen, I've got six on this side. I've got two on this side. I multiply by three. I've got six on this side, six on this side. Oh, now we balance for oxygen. I've got four here, three here. That's seven on this side and two on this side. So how do I get seven? How do I multiply something by two to get seven? Well, I could multiply seven on two by two and that'll give me seven. And then that's our answer. There you go. Again, if you don't like fractional powers, I tell you this every time. If you don't like the fractional coefficients, that's okay. Just multiply everything by the denominator. So two, four, six, and then seven comes down to the front. And that gets rid of all your fractional, your fractional coefficients. But it's okay, I don't mind it. And many teachers don't mind it as well, but consult your teacher and ask what they want, because some are very finicky about this. But if they don't have a preference, you can use fractional powers. I like fractional coefficients. So how many moles of oxygen react with 3.01 grams of ethane? Okay, so another calculation type question. Okay, so first we need to calculate the number of moles of ethane, because we only want to know the number of moles of oxygen. So the number of moles of ethane is given by that equation. So I just put the mass here, and the molar mass is down the bottom. These numbers I look up, these numbers are in the chemical formula, two and six, and so I get 0.1 mole. Okay, that's a very nice number. Happens to be a very good number. So the number of moles of oxygen is seven on two times the number of moles of ethane from, from here. So I just multiply this by seven on two, which is 0.35 moles. And that's our answer. For every 3.1 grams of ethane, we need 0.35 moles of oxygen, gas. How many liters of O2 are needed to react with the 3.1 grams of ethane at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals? Well, all we have to do is just multiply VO, the number of moles of oxygen, by the, the amount of volume that one mole of gas takes up, which is 24.79. Again, you can look up on the back of your periodic table at these conditions. So there's our number of moles. So it's 8.686 liters. For every 3.1 gram, 3.01 grams of ethane, we need 8.686 liters of oxygen.